Alrighty, Tales from the Herd. This is another game that I guess we'll see here shortly is possibly worth your time or possibly worth looking at and keeping an eye on. This is, as they put it from their Steam page, an upcoming life simulation game that takes place in an abandoned pony village, one that you and a friend take charge in the restoration of. It features rich character customization, dynamic dialogue, and a strong focus on atmosphere and storytelling. Definitely looks like there's a lot going on uh, from their trailer here. It looks super interesting. I just happened to stumble upon this and it, it looks very cozy. And it reminds me a little bit of Ponytown, uh, at least in terms of like, some of the sprites and, and the way some stuff like looks just kind of reminds me of Ponytown. It reminds me a little bit of Ponytown, but if Ponytown decided to go a completely different direction, I guess is what I'm trying to say. There is a lot here, apparently. <laughs> apparently even Twilight Sparkle is in this, which is really abs absurd in my opinion. I kind of hope that that's something that they eventually change and they just replace Twilight's like uh, avatar or character with something else like change her design or something like that because I don't like My Little Pony stuff in these pony games. I've said that before and other things. I just don't think it's a good idea to do. But anyway, it looks really cozy. You can put a tent together and all this other stuff and it looks like you can even fish or something, right? There's a lot going on in this trailer. This game does not have a planned release date yet. It's to be announced. So I guess we'll see eventually when it's releasing. Um, but it is a stress-free world. Um, dynamic dialogue, building meaningful friendships, etc. There's a lot going on here. Now, if you want to try this game like I'm about to do, you can go online right here. I'll leave a link to this in the description, but there is a prologue available, which is what I'm going to be playing here in a minute. And you can just come on here. It's on itch.io. You can download it. And then it just kind of gives you the, the download instructions and things like that. And if you want to look at some of the comments that people have left over the, over the past few days and stuff like that, you can check them out. That is pretty much it for the introduction part of this, aside from the fact that they have an official Twitter. So if you wanted to follow them on there and keep an eye on the game as, as things release and everything. The last update was on like September 1st, or at least in terms of the, on Twitter. Their last update was on September 1st. It looks like they're doing some kind of fishing thing or swimming thing. And this is one of the things that remind me of Ponytown. If you look here, this almost looks like the Ponytown map, like but for like super zoomed out or something. Enough chit chat, let's actually play the game. I have it right over here, so let's try to open it up. I'm either about to launch the game twice, or it's about to do something wacky. Yep, I launched it twice. <laughs> Alrighty, so back in the game. Uh, it says right here on the bottom left, obviously, that the project is in development and that all assets are subject to change. I mentioned at the beginning part that I do hope they change Twilight, because I think it's a bit odd to have Twilight in this game. Not because it like messes with canon or any of that other stuff. It's nothing, it has nothing to do with that. It's just a matter of, it concerns me in terms of copyright and just it, it feels too easy to just throw in MLP characters in this, like official ones. But anyway, uh, let's see. Okay, so I can move with WASD, obviously. Clicking doesn't do anything. I can jump. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here. <laughs> I decided I don't want to go in this town. Oh, that was C. C crouches. X sits. Again, that, that's kind of like Ponytown, isn't it? <laughs> all right, that was all the keys. So those are the only things I have to worry about then, I guess. Guess I'm coming in here. Hey there, friend. New around here, huh? Don't worry. You'll have plenty of time to get your bearings. You can call me Cooper. Well, I'm sure you'll be fit to bear a great number of names for now. How about I just call you a friend? I have no doubt that you have questions. Ask me anything and I'll have an answer. All right, I'll ask where am I, I guess? I like how the, uh, the, the chatter, like when they're talking, sounds like Animal Crossing. Yeah, nowhere in particular. I think it definitely has some Animal Crossing vibes to it already. No map, I'm afraid. Not to worry, though. There aren't many places to get lost out here. Well, if you have no other questions, I suppose I should recommend getting comfortable because the train isn't quite ready to board. Where is everyone? Most ponies don't need to come through here, hence the state of things. A pony like my younger self, though, a pony like you, we're special. And we need the station as much as it needs us. The station needs us? Suspect it wouldn't be here otherwise. 
After all, every train needs passengers. Well, if you have no other questions, okay, it's back to that. So what can I do while we wait? Glad you asked. In the meantime, might I recommend a visit to the dressing room in the back there? I hope you don't mind me saying, but you're looking a bit pale at the moment. And a trip to the back room might do the trick for getting you to feel like yourself again. I'll check it out, thanks. Sure say. All right, cool. Can I push him off here? Get off here, Cooper. This is my seat. What's over here? Can I click on these things? That almost looks like corn. Is that, or a burrito? Bro, you got mold and shit on the floor, bro. What we got going on in here? Is that a map? Oh, it's not. Okay, yeah, here's the customization. Okay. Oh, shoot. I gotta get Skella's, I gotta get Skella's hex code. Hang on. All right, there's not many mains. I can adjust the main length, it looks like. Well, I say that, but it also doesn't look like it's actually changing it. Oh wait, no, you have to click on it again. Okay, that makes sense. Side main style? Okay, so I can have another side main or something. We can do like this or something. I think that works for, for Skella a little bit. Maybe maybe shrink that down a little bit. I There's no like in between, so I'm just gonna have to stick with that, I guess. Okay, and then I don't think Skella would really have basically any of these other ones. I guess we'll do this just because her tail. We already got the tail color in there, so we'll do that. And her tail is a bit sh on the shorter side, so we'll keep it like that. Why not? And then we got traits. Well, well, well. Look who it is. I can adjust. That's kind of an interesting. <laughs> yeah, I like. Okay, interesting. Okay, so, okay, chat appearance. There we go. Oh my god, I'm Skella. I'm freaking Skella. Look at me go. I, I, I get that. I, I understand why they didn't give me clothes because all these clothes are like moldy and messed up and stuff. Anyway, let's sneak up on them. Oh, that's kind of the clipping is kind of something, but that's okay. That'll probably that'll of course be fixed. I'm sure. All right, man, I'm back. I bet you didn't see me coming. Morning. Well, hello. See now, isn't that better? Bet you feel like a new man. Thanks. I don't suppose I'll get to hear an explanation uh, for what just happened back there. On the contrary, the mirror is enhanced with ancient magic and reveals our true selves. Ancient magic? Where did it come from? Well, on that subject, I'm a little less informed. My true self is a conductor, not a historian. What I do know is that there's a lot more of it out there, beyond the tracks and thicket. When your time to board does eventually come around, friend, and trust me, I know it will. Remember to have an open heart and mind on your journey. Just look. There are unforgettable lands out there, places with rich history and natural beauty. I could not possibly do justice in describing. You were destined to uncover such places. Incredible, isn't it? This must be the place stories were written about. I'm sure there's supposed to be an image here or something like that. And it's just, again, it's not finished. So there's not an image there for that reason. Oh wait, no, here it is. Okay, it was just on the back of it. So it literally is just like Twilight Sparkle, basically. I'm assuming the story of this is basically like you're in Ponyville, but it's like been years and no one lives there anymore or something like that. And so it's been abandoned and, and it, you're trying to like restore Ponyville. I'm sure that's probably what they're trying to go with, but I don't like how how like Gen 4 adjacent it is, if that makes sense. I don't like it being so close to the show. A place I call home for quite some time. Even though my home is here now, it's nice to hold on to a few memories. Unfortunately, my friend, even I don't know quite when the adventure of yours will begin. Alas, the train isn't ready to board. Will it be dangerous, my journey? Nonsense. Well, maybe a little. Honestly, I can't be sure of exactly what you'll see out there. But like I've said, you won't face it alone. Is that the end of the demo? Is that actually the end of the demo? That's not much of anything, really. Let me out! Let me out of this place! Maybe I have to tell him something? Like, maybe there's a specific dialogue option I have to choose to get. So, I guess that's it for the demo. It's really not much. I mean, it's kind of... I really thought, like, you would get a little bit more.
Now, as far as like a free like prologue or whatever goes, I'm a little I'm left a little bit disappointed. I guess I shouldn't have expected more than that, but I I did. I expected that I would be able to like do the intro kind of thing of like talk to him, you know, get get your character customized and then be able to like do a little bit of what the game has to offer, but that is literally it. That was all there was. Unless I'm missing something, that was all that this gives you. Is there anything you could do apart from talking to Coop, uh, Copper and changing your appearance? And they said, not in this prologue build, no. If you'd like to see what else will eventually come to the full game when it releases, you can preview updates in either the devlogs here on Itch or on their Patreon. This was 84 days ago, and I read this earlier, and I thought, okay, it's been it's been 84 days. It's like, surely, surely they've done a little bit more to the prologue by now, because, again, that was like 84 days ago. But looking at it and playing it, there's not been anything else. You can get an early access alpha build on their Patreon. So let's go ahead and go to their Patreon here real quick and just kind of take a quick glance at it. Uh, you get Steam key delivery upon eventual game release, Windows only, experimental milestones, builds, preview, uh, coming to the game before they're publicly available, Windows only, your name and the game's credits under Wayfinder. So basically you get a little bit. They don't really show that much. Oh wait, no, here, here recent posts. First complete village. Oh, it's just basically the same stuff they were showing on their Twitter. This is a little bit better here, though, but you can see this is what I thought I would get this map, to be honest with you. I didn't think I could do anything but explore the map. I might, I, I expected to not even be able to swim or anything like that. I just expected to be able to look around the map, and that's it, but I, I couldn't. But yeah, this is this is something to keep your eye on, because it was, I mean, it was pretty well polished in, in just the prologue. Of course, that's kind of been the, the whole thing. They got 193 members right now. Um, let's see if we can get them to 200 after this video. Consider being a Patreon supporter for them. I will probably do this soon, sometime, just to get the um, the the early like build, the experimental build or something like that, and then kind of talk about it or something and just do something special and fun with that or something here on the channel to get a little bit of an update on this. But for now, I think this kind of falls into the same vein as Lords of Pony Keep, where it's just something to keep your eye on because eventually this is just going to release out of nowhere or it's going to, you're going to start hearing stuff about it probably more often. Um, I, I, I'm excited for it a little bit. I mean, it kind of reminds me a little bit of Animal Crossing mixed with like, uh, almost like a Ponytown Animal Crossing kind of hybrid type thing going on. It, it looks it looks like it's going to be fun when it comes out. It looks like it's going to be very story driven. I, I hope it's not too heavy on the story and there's actually st stuff to do outside of like listening to the story and, you know, following story stuff. I hope there's stuff to do outside of that. One thing I did kind of feel when playing it is that it was it, it felt a little stiff, if that makes sense. It felt maybe the character was a bit slow or something. I'm not really sure what it was, but something about the movement didn't feel quite perfect. But again, it's you're, you're talking super early. I mean, this is even earlier development than like something like Ponytown is in Light right now. So I guess only time will tell what comes from Tales from the Herd. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys have any other like pony related games or something like that that you want me to talk about, even if it's just in development or something like that, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to highlight it here on the channel, talk about it and get a vibe for it and just kind of share it to other people that don't know about it. So yeah, please do consider liking, subscribing, sharing, and doing all of those wonderful things like that because when you do wonderful things like that, not only to get access to wonderful content such as this, but you also get to become wonderful yourself. And I think we all want that. So do those wonderful things and until next time, stay wonderful.